so many different wig glues and all of them have one thing in common they all produce shine today i'm gonna show you my tips on what i do to reduce shine on the hairline and keep my wig picture perfect even with a flash Before we get into today's video, the wig I will be installing comes from Ronnie Hair. It will be linked below. This is a straight style and a 13 by 6 lace cap. Now, this wig, I've already tinted it with the Eben tinted lace just because I didn't feel like bleaching the knots. So throughout the video, you may notice some knots on this wig. However, that's because I did not bleach them. A lot of times with the new hairline wigs, you can see through the hairline very well. The hairline is usually really thin and because of that, a lot of you have noticed more shine with your wig glues. Now this wig, I will be sure to link below in the description box if you are interested in it. A lot of you always ask me where the link is in the description box. I think on a desktop is on the side of the video and on a mobile device is below the video. Now that you have the wig information, let's move into the application and I'm gonna show you how to clean that hairline up. Now I'm going to start my install with the reverse fake scalp. I did a full video on this. If you have not seen it, you can check it out. I will pop it out right here. But this is going to just act as a fake scalp under the wig so that I don't have to use a wig cap and also my hair will lay flat. Now there are several different types of wig glue you can use. One is the actual wig glue as you can see. This one has more of a sticky tacky feeling. And then you have the different sprays like the ORS. Use this one just for touch ups. I don't use it for a full install. I just use it just to touch up areas that may have lifted. The ORS does not have a lot of shine when it is dry. The next glue is the Even Wonder Lace Bond Spray. This is one of my favorite glue. This glue has a little bit more shine than the previous one. However, it gives me a two to three day hold. I prefer this one for my wig application if I want a longer wear. I use this for a two to three day hold, but it still has just a little bit of shine. As you just seen, I used the Even Wonder Lace Spray to do my reverse fake scalp. And now I'm using the actual wig glue to do my wig application. Now you want to make sure that your wig glue is 100% dry before you lay that lace. And when I say dry, as far as it not being extremely sticky with this particular glue, it does have a blue tint to it. So when that tint completely goes clear, you'll know that you are ready to apply that lace down. Now this part is very important because if your hairline is not dry enough, you will get a, not only a shiny hairline, but you will get a messy wig application and you don't want that. So I'm going to show you an example of what I mean and then I'm going to clean it up and then redo it again. So right now I'm sticking the lace down and as you can see, I still have a lot of wet spots from that glue. When you apply your wig glue and it's not completely dry, this can also lead to a lot of shiny areas. It can also lead to a messy application as you can see right here. I cleaned up that area, so now I'm using an Even Wonder Lace Spray to clean up any lifted areas from me wiping away that extra glue. So as you can see, the hairline does have a lot of shine. So let's get into my tips on how to prevent this and make it clean. So with the flash, of course, that's where you mostly will see the shine when you take your pictures or if you're in direct sunlight. So here's what I do. So get rid of the shine around the hairline from the wig adhesive glue. The most effective thing I have found is the foundation makeup powders. Now. Today I'm coming at you with no makeup for all of my ladies who may say, what if I don't wear makeup? So I use the Studio Fix Powder. I have been using this for a very long time. Now it is about technique when it comes to using this because if you don't do it right, you will get a cakey lace type of application. So what I take is a really fluffy brush, never a densely packed brush, and I use a little bit of powder at a time starting in certain areas and working my way around 
if you apply way too much powder yes your lace will show even the most invisible lace will show so you want to just lightly tap that powder around that hairline this will also cover any knots that's visible my color in this powder is the nc42 you want to make sure you use a powder that's closer to your forehead color and now i'm lightly taking that powder a little bit at a time and touching that hairline and because of the color of this one you will slightly start to see the edge of that lace but i'm going to fix that in just a second with another technique Now the lace on this wig is a Swiss lace. It's not that visible except for when you apply that powder. Now to blend that powder, I'm going to take a little bit of my hair mousse and this is like my secret tip because I find that it works really well. And I go around the edge of that lace. At this point, I create edges or I don't, but either way, I still put a little bit of that hair mousse at the edge of that lace because it's going to lay it back down. And any areas that have too much powder is going to blend it. As you can see for yourself, a lot of that shine has disappeared at the lace area. So as I'm laying the hair down, um, the mousse do create just a little bit, but because the powder is on the hairline, it definitely don't give the effect of being too shiny. But as I say all the time, you have to be very cautious on how much product you are applying. Now I'm going to go ahead and tie it down with the sleigh band. And as you guys can see, I have on no makeup and that lace looks really good. But this goes to show you that you can still use makeup to apply around that hairline and not make your lace look cakey or make the lace visible because my lace looks really good. So I'm cleaning up the forehead area with a little bit of alcohol to remove that extra residue. And the very last step that I take to remove the shine and to make sure just everything sets right is I use my Laura Mercier. This is the translucent powder in honey. This comes in four different shades. Um, so I just take it, tap it off really good and touch it around that hairline. Now this is great for getting rid of shine. I use it on my face all the time. You do not have to go out and buy so many powders like I have. I'm using what I have on hand. And if you don't wear makeup and you don't know what to get i will link some in a description box that are more affordable and the ones that i'm using in today's video just in case you want to pick it up i think powders are great to have just not only for shine on your hairline but just for oily spots on your face you know some people shine a lot but as you can see the hairline looks amazing there's no shine there's no cakiness and all of this looks good without me having on any makeup so Again, this wig will be linked below. I thank you guys for watching. Thumbs up the video. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. And I will see you back in my next video.